to give an idea of what the poor people who live in these small villages along the border have to go through, this is a this is the main road, as I said earlier, um, and uh, so these people have got this traffic uh, 24 hours a day, uh, thundering through. One wonders how they ever get any sleep, um, or do they get used to it? Uh, can one get used to it? And um, it's rather. I bet they'll be glad when the uh, the motorway is actually built and takes the traffic uh, away from them. Of course the motorway is being built and whereas many of the Polish people who uh, see my videos and write to me and say, you know, it's not as good as you seem to think it is, um, all I can say is it's getting better and uh, things aren't going to get better overnight. Uh, I'm um, about 20 kilometers from the border Police. This is this place is called, uh, was close to a place called uh, Zepin and uh, Urad. And here one can see how the motorway was originally planned. Uh, this sort of in the 30s. The earthworks on the right have been done, and uh, the trees obviously started to grow. But they've had 70 odd years nearly uh, to 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 grow. But um, the earthworks here have been done. Another motorway which was in Silesia was like this. It wasn't actually built until 1999 if memory serves me correctly and um, before that was just one one side was done now when one does uh, build a road the most expensive part is the actually the earthworks the fact that you don't actually uh, pave it um, is, is quite it's really in fact quite uh, it's comparatively quite a low cost the costs involved cost of buying the land uh, which is which can be extremely can be the most expensive part then it's the earthworks which have to be done and uh, here we can see that uh, the Germans uh, did do the earthworks uh, but uh, they didn't actually lay down the road now another another ro um, uh, road which uh, where the earthworks were done uh, but the forestry claimed is on the uh, way between Wrocław and Berlin now this is uh, on the Polish side of the border and the, uh, I don't know what it's like now, I haven't been down there for some time but the, the border had been, uh, sorry, the, the road had been partially reclaimed by the forest although there were, were uh, uh, bridges and the likes. So now I see everybody slowing down here because there's a young lady standing there and uh, she's uh, probably waiting for the bus. There have been a lot of young ladies uh, standing alongside the roads in this in this area. I don't know why they stand here because uh, obviously it's for the benefit of those coming from the west who have a little bit more cash to afford these services. Uh, these ladies are called Tirufki because they serve the needs of tier drivers. Now uh, that is well, that's the uh, that's the theory apparently. Though somebody uh, did write to me on uh, put a comment on one of my uh, videos and he said it's. Actually, the, the, most of the clients are in fact individual people in cars who are in fact Polish. Anyway. Now it's a uh, wall-to-wall motorway. Now, the, this motorway was extended in the 90s. Um, from a kilometer from the border to I don't know what we are, but five kilometers here from the from the border. It's the first time I've gone through a, a Polish Schengen border, so I've been looking forward to it. I've had um, a request from Bartek from Chesterhova to record it for him, and Bartek is now living in Gateshead. A bit ironic, really, where I come from. I'm going to have to buy some more fuel for, uh, in Poland because it's cheaper. Petrol 
station in Poland which is on the right and it's usually in pretty big demand because a lot of people know it's the last uh, petrol station in Poland. Now this is the border between Poland and Germany. This is a Schengen border. There should be nobody here on either side. <laughs> nobody. Okay, the trash can needs so the border the border patrol has stopped somebody. Um, one wonders why. Well, I feel very proud to be a European. At this moment, there we have Frankfurt on the on the right, Frankfurt uh, on on Elbe. On the Oder, sorry, sorry, not the Elbe. And uh, there's no uh, there's no Frankfurt on the L. And uh, Swobice, where we are now, uh, used to be before the war was a district. Uh, though the, the bulk of the city uh, was on the western bank, which was quite convenient when the eastern bank ended up in Poland. So this is now it's now in Germany. And uh, the control point for both sides of the border was on the Polish side. So it changed. For example, he was on the Polish side next uh, one up which is in the city of Frankfurt and uh, uh, Swobica is in it was on it was on the German side etc they did for example the motorway crossing at Skorzelitz is on uh, is on the German side now in uh, Germany it's in yet in Deutschland and we'll go a bit faster well, I'm very pleased. Oh, I had to do some oh, I forgot to put my... Oh dear, I'm going to have to stop. I'm going to stop and leave a message on my telephone. Where to ring me? So, this is... I'm back on the motorway, uh, leaving Frankfurt. I'm going to have to put my foot down a little bit, of course, because uh, I'm probably a bit on the late side now. I also think I've exaggerated how, how close it is to Elder from uh, the... From the border. Anyway, nice to hear Polish radio when you're driving on the German motorway.